rainy and dreary day. But hey, you know, today is a good day to actually go bid a job. Um, so I had stated in one of my last videos um, that I posted about a week, a little over a week ago, that it was a closing job and that the homeowner was going to be passing my information along to the new homeowner once the house was sold in case the new homeowner wanted me to come back and pick some items up. Well, as it turns out, that homeowner did, the new homeowner did want me to come back and pick some items up. So I've got that job scheduled for tomorrow and it's a big enough job that uh, I have to rent a U-Haul truck again. And then I'm actually leaving in just a moment to go bid another job, which is a garage cleanout. So that actually means I would have two garage cleanouts to do because the one I already have scheduled is a garage cleanout as well. Um, so I'm going to be leaving here in just a moment to go bid that job. And I'm hoping that I can get that job done tomorrow as well. And um, then I have some other smaller jobs potentially this week. So instead of posting one video each day, um, I'm going to try and do it all in one video. So this might be kind of a long video just to forewarn you. Um, but if you would like to find out how much money was made for the week, uh, f mm, sorry. Um, if you would like to find out how much money was made for the week, watch till the end because I'm going to do it all at once. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. So I just got back from going to look at that other job and it's kind of not what I was really expecting. Um, the guy is not ready to have me haul stuff away right now because he doesn't really know what he has that needs to be hauled away. But he's going to talk to his wife, and I may possibly be going back to his house to get or um, go through stuff that he has in his garage um, to kind of help them decide what's garbage and what to keep. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Um, and then also there is stuff in his basement that needs to be sorted through as well. And there are things in his basement that he would like to get rid of for sure, such as a double recliner couch, um, which is really the only thing that he mentioned. But um, he said, you know, the basement is kind of in disarray, just like the garage was. And so that needs to be sorted. Um, and he wanted to know if they could hire me by the, by the hour to get that stuff out. And I said, sure, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, hey, it's money, you know. And in today's day and age, every little bit helps. Anyway, I'm going to continue this tomorrow. So you saw the before pictures and this is what the truck looks like loaded with that job. Job number one for the week is done. So it's a little bit chilly out this morning. Not really enough to be wearing a parka like I am, but I don't have another jacket. So um, anyway, today is day two of doing that garage clean out. There was a big roll of carpet in the picture that I was not able to throw in the truck yesterday. So I'm going back to get that today. Um, I told the lady all I would charge her is uh, gas because she already has a place lined up where the carpet can be disposed of for free. So I told her I would just take care of it. So uh, that garage clean out is done. And now I'm off to job number two. Uh, this is going to be a, a small job. It's just picking up some chicken wire, I believe. Um, and then I'm going to bring it right to the scrap yard. Um, there's not going to be hardly any weight there. I know I'm not going to make weight, but you know, that's fine. The scrap yard will still take it. Um, I just won't get paid for it. 
um, but I'll get paid from the customer, so that's okay. Off to the second job. Here is job number two, just a few rolls of chicken wire. This is job number three. I've got two armchairs and then, of course, the vehicle bench seat right there out of some kind of blazer or something. Um, anyway, job three complete. Another job down in the books for the week. It's just this hot water heater, and let me tell you, this sucked coming up the stairs, but with the help of the homeowner, got it done. So this is the last job for the week. I'm on my way to the dump right now to get rid of this chair. There was supposed to be a couch as well, but we couldn't figure out how to get the couch up the stairs without taking the door frame off, without taking the light fixture down and everything else, so it became a huge pain. Anyway, um, I just ended up with this chair. So now I'm going to start doing the breakdown for you. That's going to be in about 10 seconds. Okay, so it's time for the breakdown. This is going to be kind of long, but here we go. So, the first day, I had that garage clean out, um, and I was paid $600. And then on the second day, I went back to that job, and I got the roll of carpeting, or rolls of carpeting, and that was an additional $40. The second job was the chicken wire, and that job paid me $30. Then the third job was um, those chairs, and that job paid me $120. Job number four was the water heater. That job paid me $50. And then job number five, which is the one I just got done taking care of, the payout on that was $100. So for the jobs, if I add up how much I was paid for each one, comes out to $940. And then I had all the dump fees on top of it. Um, so I had a total of $197.56 for dump fees. And also I have to subtract the cost of the truck, which was 65 and then also I spent about a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars in gas this week, so I'm just figuring a hundred and twenty. So um, after I subtract the dump fees, the truck costs, the gas, that means that I made a total of five hundred fifty-seven dollars and forty-four cents um, in revenue this week, which is pretty low, but you know, as of right now, I'll take anything I can get for the most part. So after I subtract all that, that brings my total to a positive $2,395.46. Um, I do have some plans moving forward to get involved with different companies like Angie's Leads and Angie's List, as well as some other companies that solely focus on getting junk removal leads. Um, I know some people are going to think that that's kind of a waste of money, but I don't really know how to do SEO and all that stuff. So um, this is basically what I'm going to have to do to keep moving forward. So look out for those updates. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.